so that version number is what you definitely want to see. That means there's no errors and that it's the most up-to-date version. Testing. Testing.
All right, so I figured out what the error was. So the thing that caused this here, when you go to run your JavaScript, um, it'll cause an error if there's another file or another uh, you know piece of code that you have to run installation for the Solana. It's general. This one here that you're installing per the guide is very specific. It's a specific node that you're installing, right? But this one here is the general one that is missing. And so, see it's saying it couldn't find that module, and that's why I had to install it there. I'm not going to show it, but I was able to successfully, after, you can see here that I ran it, it added those packages going up here. So I ran my JavaScript, okay? That's this, the orminer.js. There's no error right it's it's the u uh integer eight array 64 it's the numbers it's your key pair that's what you should have all right G give me one sec actually all right so once you've got your uh you know you you're successfully gen ran your your javascript okay you can go ahead back here when you run your javascript it kicks out what you need for the last step it's actually step, uh, so you need to install that. But then after that, you can, um, you know, you'll have to build your JavaScript file here using just this code. Remember, you save it in the WordPad. Save in WordPad as a .js file. And that's this bit here. All right. And that step seven is going to give you that key pair. You're going to take that key pair. You're going to copy from the first bracket to the second bracket, just the numbers, not that u integer array, eight array part, just the, from the first bracket to the second bracket, including the brackets. You're going to copy that. You're going to paste it into a new Word document. All right. I'm going to make up, or give me one sec just to do that, okay? I'm going to do that because I can't, it won't run right if I don't have all the right uh, information in there. So give me one sec. I'm going to go ahead and paste that, that code. All right, so we're pretty much at the last step here. Um, that wasn't too bad. And I'll run through it quickly again, just in the beginning, as a summary, because I have to edit this anyway. Um, but so on this final step here, right, so we'll go back to the thread. We've got the key pair saved in the target folder, or excuse me, the release folder, target's path there. We got the uh, or minor JavaScript file that we created saved in the main or client master folder, right? So at this point, let's just go through it. Like, um, I don't, it sucks that it's out of order, but all right, so look. Three, we installed that, ran it, checked the version, good to go. No, it's out of order, sorry. Four. We installed the source code, checked that, good to go. You know, ran that, build the release of the latest uh, source code that we obtained there. All right, this three, four, five, we ran the target release. Actually, this is a change directory, but this was installed, okay? I didn't install it in my, I installed it in the C, you know, like in the uh, high level, all right? So, Next one you're at. All right, six. So on six, we installed this one, but remember there's an extra step to six. This is very important. So after you install this one here, this is a specific node you're accessing. Install this one here, which is a general one. It's going to prompt you to do that anyway. It's going to give you an error if you try and run your JavaScript file subsequently. It'll 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 mention that, you know. So it does say that requires the the regular one. So make sure that you add that in there. 
All right, so that's step six. Or, uh, it's just weirdly numbered, I'm sorry. I get kind of confused by that. All right, so after we've done that, we run our JavaScript, uh, JavaScript file. That's gonna kick out, there's a bracket there, that it's like a 64 pair, uh, 64 set numbers. And you'll copy that from the first bracket here to the second bracket, paste that in a new word, and save it as the .json file. That's where we're caught up to. So that's here. We get on to seven, we already did that because we ran the thing. That's why it's kind of like get ahead of itself a little bit. It gets ahead of itself a bit. Eight, so this is what I'm talking about here. It generates that unit array. This is step seven here. You're not copying this. You're just taking from this bracket to this bracket, literally from this bracket. You're pasting that into a new Word document and then you save it as a .json file. Key pair .json would probably be ideal, you know? All right. So then from there, that is the last step. Where is number nine? Right here. All right, so now we'll try and run it. I might get an error. I might have to, like, you know, do that. But this is the code here. Let's see. Run the miner. That's the code that you need there. So we'll go ahead and try and do it. Oh, you have to be in the release folder, though. So mine the, um, see? It says you have to be in the client release. So an easy way to remember how to get there, that's just the crap I'm editing. You go to target release, key pair, for example. It's the same location properties. You can copy the location, control C. Then when you go back here, CD, paste, that takes me to release. Now, I'm going to try and run this code. This computer has a really bad internet because it's on wireless right now. My other one's like kind of trying to farm this. But both of them are bad quality spec computers. So, All right, and let's go. Oh, because I didn't fund the wallet. Jeez. All right. Um, I didn't even think about that. Give me one sec. I'll um, try and send like a point one soul to create the token account. I'll be right back. All right, so it's pretty much done. I actually did test it. Um, I just got bored and accidentally hit it in. So yeah, it works for sure. Um, I'll just demonstrate though. So um, let's see. I just want to see something. So remember, we got to get back to that release folder. Um, so now we're in release. So now we'll go ahead and try and run the miner. That token account, the reason I was like hesitant or whatever is because it's still creating. And I was just like, man, let me just try it anyway, and it works. So I'll just show you that it works, and that the setup process was pretty much good to go. So you run it, it starts generating a challenge, and it starts looking for hashes. And this computer, like I said, has really bad internet, and just because it's on Wi-Fi, so it's not ideal for mining or whatever, but it's, it's definitely working. Um, and uh, yeah, hope that helped. Remember, you can also change the RPC. Another thing too that I want to throw out there is that you can change the amount of threads that you allocate. So when you go to use this command, when you're, while it's running, you can't stop it. Like, as far as I know, you have to just close the window and bring up a new command prompt, navigate back to that point again, as you saw me do here, where it changed directory, and then run the code again. But when you run it, you can change the amount of threads. So for example, I'll just demonstrate this. If I go to like, it's actually task manager, one sec. All right, so if I go to task manager here, more details, performance, and then CPU, I can see this computer is a piece of shit, as I said. 1700 threads is not a lot. Even the other computer that I'm mining from that I originally set this up on has like, I think 3400 threads. 
I'm only using 80 of those though, because when I tried to use like 100, the computer went like retarded. So that's, you know, be like mindful. Like I'd probably maybe raise this up to, I don't know, 50 if maybe I will. All right, so let's see, there's an error here, so it stopped. So let's just actually try that. This computer is not gonna like that. If you get an error, just try and rerun it because like it's just super congested. Like something like this, max retries is not bad. If it's something crazy, then like you know you're you can kind of address it at that when it goes forward. But as you can see, it's running noticeably slower because it's using a lot more resources. Even though this computer doesn't have anything on it, so I, it's like factory reset it on this. I actually did factory reset it last night before I uh, set it up for this demonstration. So. It's just a lot slower, but if you have a better computer, it'll probably rip through, you know, higher thread, which means that it can process more, um, like, attempts or hashes, and then you have a better chance of solving, i.e. scoring. So, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of this video, though. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not going to tell you to like or subscribe, because, you know, who am I, right? Uh, have a great day.